Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is a airhead wrapper. I am going to go ahead and start with uh, the most important part of business is the measurements and then I will go into the design. The largest square that we have here is going to be 3.5 by 5.75. And then you have this square right here which is ultimately going to be the front of your wrapper and that's the main space that you'll design in. So that space is the uh, 1.25 by 5.75. I'm not actually going to design this, um, but I'm just going to keep it there for the sake of uh, making sure that I'm staying within that space. So I'm going to add a pattern to the largest square. So I'm going to go to print and pattern. And then I will go here to this background right here. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my upload and I'm going to add the images that I'll use for this particular design. For this picture, the Elmo picture here, I'm just going to resize it and I'm going to make it about 1.1 in height because I don't want it to be bigger than this square another thing that I'm going to do is hide that Sesame Street and then I'm going to enter text So the last thing you're going to do is select everything, flatten, and then make it. to go ahead and just tape off the sides or basically all the way around the wrapper I'm basically just making sure that when I fold over I'm not cutting off anything on this side I'm just gonna Go ahead and fully secure it now. So that's basically how it came out. You can use your crimper or the scissors on the edges of the the edges of the wrapper if you like, so it'll look really close to it, but I'm not going to. But just wanted to show you this is how it came out. 